This video is brought to you by Elmer's Products. Hey guys, I'm Meg. Today I'm going to show you how to make this 3D geometric sculpture. To make your own 3D geometric wall sculpture, you'll need the templates I created found in the link in the description below. Print several of each template out on cardstock paper. I'm using white paper to later add a different color to each side of my triangles, but make them whatever color you want. Lay your template on a self-healing cutting mat and use an X-Acto knife or paper scissors to cut them out. Cut several of each size. Once you have your triangles cut out, you will need a scoring board and a boning tool. I have a vintage sewing tool that works perfectly. You want to place the fold lines right in the indent of the scoring board and create a crease with your boning tool. Create a crease on each fold line, including the three outer fold lines. Fold your crease lines in with the black lines on the inside of your triangle and set the finished folded triangle aside. To glue your triangles, place a scrap piece of paper on your mat to prevent it from getting sticky and place the cut template on top. Using the Elmer's glue stick, apply adhesive to the single outside fold line. Fold it to attach to the triangle next to it and hold it down. Place it onto your mat and use your boning tool to apply pressure to the seam that connects the two glued pieces. Take the open flap and flip it over so the all white side is facing up and apply your glue stick to the two outer fold lines with the scrap paper underneath. Fold the outer pieces and tuck them into your glued piece to complete your three-dimensional triangle. Use the tips of your fingers and fingernails to press the newly glued corners together. Repeat these steps to make as many triangles as you want. My philosophy is go big or go home, so I have 80 triangles for my sculpture. Yep, 80. Your three-dimensional triangles look cool enough to attach to the wall as is, but we're taking it to the next level with some lush and rich colored cardstock paper. Take an array of colors and the color block template I provided and trace several of them onto the back of each color of cardstock. Tracing inevitably makes a larger triangle than the original, so when cutting them out, cut along the inside of your trace line to be as accurate as possible. Keep tracing and cutting your colored cardstock until you have a color for each side of each triangle. That is three times the amount of triangles you have. So with my 80 triangles, I needed 240 color pieces. I counted how many of each I needed beforehand to prevent superfluous cutting. Take your triangles and make piles of three of the same size in the colors you want to go together. Apply a generous amount of your glue stick to the back of each triangle and apply the glued side to one side of one of your 3D triangles. Apply enough pressure to adhere it, keeping in mind that you're working with paper, so don't manhandle it. I omitted adding a color piece to the base because you won't see it obviously, it will be attached to the wall. When all of your triangles have three different colors on three sides, take Elmer's foam mounting tape and cut small angled pieces to attach to the base. Add one piece to the small triangles and two to the medium and large. Cut an angled piece and place the angle right up into the tip of the base of the triangle and place one across from that. Apply each one to the wall using a leveler as a guide. Keep applying until, voila! you have a three-dimensional, modern geometric wall sculpture. You can use any shape, any colors, keep it white, just use your imagination to customize it how you want it. Thanks so much for watching, bye.